Hi everyone and welcome to this quick but very effective workout for upper body strength. The sequence will not be complicated at all. It is just a combination of some of my favorite exercises and drills for strengthening and toning the arms. Even though I have to admit that you might feel the burn not only in the arms. There will be one break offered in this practice and no equipment will be required. Whenever you are ready, let's come up into the downward facing dog and just for a little warm up we will hold it here for about one minute. I encourage you to root through the fingers into the floor and actively push the mat away. Hug the elbows, tricep in and find as much length through the back side of your body as possible. Focus on your breathing. Beautiful. Now move forward into the plank. We'll be lowering down onto the forearm plank, right elbow down first, and coming back up into the plank, right hand first. Let's go five more times on the right side. One, two, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the inner thighs, and try not to rock your hips from side to side too much. One last time on this side. Now lower down with your left hand first and come up on the left side first. Four more times here. That's for two. Three. Four. One last time. Come back down into the forearm plank and as we hold it here, we'll be stepping right foot over to the side and back, left foot over to the side and back. 20 more times. 30, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, halfway through. One, two, three, four, stepping it a little farther to the side, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. We'll continue with one minute hold in a forearm side plank. So any side you prefer first. Take your shoulder right above the elbow, actively press the floor away and feel how you engage into the side of your body, the shoulder, the upper arm, everything will start burning soon. Last couple seconds. And now transition on to the other side. You're doing great. One minute here. You can keep both of your feet flexed on the floor or if available and you're ready to challenge your balance, stack one foot on top of the other. Make sure you are not sinking your hips down and not relying just on your arm, but really engaging into the full body. Thirty more seconds to go. Fifteen seconds. Mm -hmm. 
don't bring your knees down just yet transition back onto the forearms and walk your feet closer towards your elbows as we come into the dolphin pose we will hold it here for about 20 seconds if necessary keep the knees bent and try to find the length from the elbows towards your hips now we'll continue by bending the knees towards the floor and straightening back and up your knees are not touching the floor keep going 15 more times one and straightening as much as we can two and pushing the chest back three four remember to keep breathing five Ten more, six, seven, eight, nine, the quads are firing, ten, last five here, you can do it, one, just a little longer before we take a break, two, three, four, Five. Now hold your dolphin for about 30 more seconds. I know it's getting a little bit harder, but try to keep finding the strength in your body, in your quads, in your hip flexors to really press through the hips back and up and reach through the heels a little closer to the floor as you push the floor away through the forearms. 15 more seconds. final pose of this part of the sequence we'll come back up into the downward facing dog and we'll try to hold it here with as much of an activation as possible 30 more seconds really recruiting the strength through your body not just hanging out here but pressing the floor away hugging the tricep in and lengthening with every inhale sending those hips back and up a little bit more effort here and now bring the knees down we'll take a short break in the child's pose might be choose to extend your arms alongside your legs shake off your shoulders take a few deep exhales before we continue second part of the sequence will continue with 10 chaturanga push-ups if you have the energy might be you lift the knees up and off the floor i'll do it with my knees down one two three four five do as many as you can if necessary take a break and then continue three more here one two three maybe you can continue for ten more here or to make it easier shift between child's pose and the chaturanga push up that will take a little pressure away of your arms so this is for three seven more to go four five again engage the glutes engage into your core feel that you are working with all of your body just only a couple left they're definitely getting harder but we can do it together wonderful make your way back up into the dolphin so forearms on the floor elbows shoulder distance apart and we'll go for 10 dolphin push-ups here so reaching the nose all the way towards the fingers and back into the dolphin that's for three four a little more effort a little more energy here six seven 
eight, nine, last one. Well done. Hold the dolphin 10 seconds only. Now try to lift both of your elbows at the same time up into the downward facing dog. Here, we'll continue lowering the elbows down into the dolphin and back up, downward dog. If possible, both elbows at the same time. If necessary, one elbow at a time. Last five. One, two, three, four, and five. Amazing. This is our final downward facing dog hold for one minute. Again, I always say the difference is how much effort you put into the pose, how much energy you invest into every single asana. So here you can simply hold it or you can be pushing, engaging, hugging the elbows in, looking for the length, deepening your breathing. So make your choice. This is the last pose here. There will be just a couple more exercises left. Do your best. The only thing that is required from you is to do your best. You are amazing. Bring your knees down, sit your hips onto the heels, take a moment to shake your arms off. Well done. Just a little longer here, reach your arms to the sides and we'll be bouncing arms backwards, pulling the shoulder blades closer together, hugging the stomach in and feeling a nice opening through the chest, through the shoulders, while we still continue working on the strength of the arms. We'll do this for just a few seconds longer here, a total of 40 seconds. Make sure you are not curving excessively in your lower back. Hug the lower ribs in. Don't drop the arms down just yet. 30 circles through the arms backwards. Might be choose to keep your elbows softly bent. And here I like saying, imagine as if you're swimming. So your arms are not light. Imagine as if you're pushing through heavy water. So you have to engage your shoulders, your shoulder blades, your upper back, and feel that your arms are getting a little heavier. Now 30 circles, 30 circles forward. This will be the last exercise. I know the neck is getting a little bit tired but focus on engaging through the upper back, through the shoulder girdle. And release. Might be interlaced the hands behind your back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, fold forward, a little stretch for the shoulders. And then release your arms by the sides of your body. Take a few moments in the child's pose. Make sure that you enjoy this rest. Enjoy this couple of final deep breaths. Finding the release, letting go, noticing how you feel. Noticing all the energy the vibe, the sweat. Even though you're tired, give yourself a smile. Imagine you're giving yourself a hug for all the hard work, for all the effort. Well done. This is the end of the short but super effective practice. I hope you will agree with me. 
If you complete it more often, on a very regular basis, you will notice that it gets much easier and you are getting much stronger. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe to my channel. I will greatly appreciate your support. Leave me a comment and I cannot wait to see you on the mat soon again. Much love and take care of yourself.